Yo, 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 yo. Today, we are reviewing the Backfire Zealot. This board is amazing. I love it. It is the best budget board that I've ridden. It's not a budget board, I, I assure you. This board is amazing. With uh, up to 30 mile per hour top speed and 20 miles of range for under $1,000. Amazing. We're gonna jump right into these specs here. Um, I just love this board. I cannot say enough things about it, good things about it. Um, you know, I bought the X-Way Flex and the Backfire Zealot at the exact same time. I got to test both of them out, riding each one at one after another. And I just cannot say enough good things about the Backfire Zealot. The board was under $1,000 first off, and the performance that it has for under $1,000 is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say about this board um, yet. So braking is incredible so put it on 120 millimeter i wonder wheels from slick revolution it has lights that you can turn on and off from the remote so i love that ground lights it is just an amazing board so i went with the whole purple look kept it purple ran with the foamies purple wheels so, so sick. This board is a flexi deck, as you can see. Look at this. Flexible as hell. So something that I really like about it is the flexibility of it. It snaps back incredibly fast. So when you're riding and you're cutting inside corners, and it snaps in and snaps back out. It's amazing. Acceleration is quick. Look at this. Uphill, about 8% gradient. Just an amazing piece of equipment. Lights on, lights off, Daniel son. So turbo mode engaged, that's turbo mode engaged. That lets you know that it's ready to go, full turbo mode. So with that turbo mode engaged, um, your acceleration is extremely quick. Your top speed, it gets up there very quick. So. Um, yeah, man, I don't have anything bad to say about this board. This board is amazing. So um, I love the street wheels that it comes with. They're amazing. So um, the stock wheels, just straight out of the box. This is one of the best boards I've ever had. Literally straight out of the box. You don't have to do any upgrades. You don't have to do anything. You buy the board, you pull it out of the box, you leave the stock wheels on it, and it just is amazing. So um, I recommend this board to everybody, anybody who's trying to get a solid board for under $1,000. So, yeah, man, Backfire Zealot, they did an amazing job. Um, you know, I'm trying to be real, uh, 
blunt about my board reviews because I don't like to be lied to. I don't like to mislead people. So I really just want to be straightforward about my board reviews. And I want people to understand that I'm giving this board review based off my personal opinion and experience. And if you don't like it, then no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, really though, I'm really just trying to give you a, um, a solid board experience, um, a solid board review so that you can make the best decision in what you decide, which board you decide to go with. So, um, man, like I said, I have no complaints about this board. This board is badass. Um, a kid could hop on it, a girl could hop on it, an adult, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is. This board is just ready to go. So Backfire did an amazing job. I was not a fan of Backfire at all, especially knowing that they um, specialized in hub drive. I am not a hub drive fan. I do not like hub drives. I will never like hub drives. I do not like those goofy rear wheels. Um, I'm not with any of that. So uh, they just don't look natural. They don't look right. They just look weird. So, um, but man, I'm telling you, if you guys want a, an amazing board, for an amazing price that gets amazing top speed, an amazing range. Literally, this board could be called the Backfire Amazing because <laughs> it is just, it's sweet. So, um, yeah, man, you guys be sure to subscribe. Smash the subscribe, smash the like button. Get me on Instagram. It's at 24 karat EBC. That stands for Electric Boarding Company. So, um, Get me on Instagram and uh, I had a bee land on my head. You see that shit? Motherfucker. Backfire Zealot. This joint is badass. This is the best hands down budget board on the market. I don't know of anything better. Like I said, I got this the same day I got the X-Way Flex. I was more excited to get the Flex than I was this. I rode the flex, then I rode this, and I just fell in love with this board. I grabbed this board every time. You gotta run to the store, grab the board. I gotta go check the mail, run the, grab the board. I gotta run an errand, grab the board. The reason why I grabbed this board so much is because I don't really care about it because it was under $1,000. My boards that I care about are $1,500, $2,000. So this is definitely something to keep in your arsenal just to ride and jam and just beat up and just use because it's so affordable. Why not? So um, I definitely recommend this board to everybody that is an electric skateboard fan because you should have your main board, which is your pride and joy. You should have your quick grab and go board, which is your, you know, stoke or cruiser board. And then you should have a board like this your budget board that you don't care too much about, that you're just gonna grab and just take off. And I swear, I love this board. So um, it states on their webpage, 28.5 miles per hour is the top speed with the stock wheels. Um, I've got these foamies on, these 120 millimeter foamies. And I've been, I've been uh, uh, 26 miles per hour, I think was my top speed. I've seen in forums people getting in their 30s. So again, I'm a bigger rider. But um, I love the turbo feature mode. When you hit this turbo button, these lights start flashing and it's go time. So um, the brakes are extremely strong, especially for someone like me. The brakes are important to me because if I'm bombing down the street and a rabbit or something jumps out in front of me, I've had javelinas jump out in front of me, I've had coyotes jump out in front of me, I've seen 10 foot long snakes in the road that I had to slow down and avoid. So. When I hit that brake, you just gotta make sure your feet are planted and you brace yourself because this board stops on a dime. It, it is, it, it's amazing how quick this board stops. So um, I definitely recommend it, man. 10 out of 10 stars for a budget board. It is not a budget board. It does not feel like a budget board. Um, it does not maneuver like a budget board. It has single kingpin trucks. So a lot of you guys that don't like double kingpin trucks, this is the board to grab. These single kingpin trucks, you can still carve very well on them. Um, I haven't had any issues with the board. The board's been amazing. It states it gets 17 to 22 miles per charge. I got 20 miles and I was doing about 17, 18 miles per hour the whole time. Granted, the battery's brand new. So as I wear it in more, I'll probably only be getting about 17, 18, 19 miles, which I'm fine with. I'm, I'm cool with anything over 15, 16 miles. So especially at the rate that I'm riding.
So I recommend this board 100%. Buy it, grab it, get on Backfire's page and get it. It is amazing. I love the feature of the turbo. I love the strong braking. I love the quick acceleration. It has two gear modes. It has S and E, which is like sport and eco. Um, in eco mode, I've heard of people getting 30 miles. So, you know, I don't know. I don't ride in that mode. I ride in sport mode. I like to get up and go. So um, dual belt drive, everything's real simple. It's real easy to maintain. It's real easy to fix. It's real easy to keep clean. So, um, you know, the flex deck, when I first got on it, it was kind of weird because of how much of a flex it is. Like, look, I can just push on it and it flexes. It has an extreme flex. Like it almost feels like the board's gonna break except you're not hearing any noises like it's gonna break. Now the concave is perfect, it's not too much. As you can see, it's just a little. And with that, and with this longer deck, I believe this is 39 inches, I just feel like I have so much control over this board. So again, this is my go-to board when I just gotta go. If I'm gonna go jam over to a terrain that I've never ridden on before, and I know that I've got a friend that's like, hey, come ride with me. Like tonight, I'm gonna go on a night ride. I'm gonna grab this board. Because again, I don't really care about it. I mean, I do care about it, but I don't care if it gets beat up. I don't care if it gets scratched up because it was 800 bucks. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? For $800, this is an amazing board. I recommend you to get it. So um, please drop in the comments, questions uh, that you have about the board. Um, personal experiences you've had with the board, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, follow, share, and uh, drop down in the comments what you like. I always like to ask you guys, direct drive, belt drive, or hub drive? Hub drive, ah, hub drive. I can't stand hub drive, I'm sorry. I, I cannot stand hub drive. So uh, you'll probably never see me review a hub drive because I can't stand those boards. So, but um, yeah, man, backfire zealot, badass board. It's got your charging port right here. It's got another USB port. So if you need to charge your remote or your phone, um, it's just an incredible board, man. I have no complaints. So um, again, budget board. It's not a budget board though. Grab it. I promise you, you will thank me later. Keep this in your arsenal. Ride the hell out of it and you will thank me later. I put on the 120s, the stock wheels. Stock wheels are 96 millimeter, 78A durometer. And that 96 millimeter is amazing. And the wheels look good on this board too. And they ride good. So like I said, when you buy this board, all you gotta do is buy it and, and ride it. You don't have to upgrade anything. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything. This board is ready to go out the box. So I hope this review helped with you guys today. Um, smash that subscribe, smash that share and that like. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all.